Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three squares A, B, and C as you can see in this figure. And here is our question. Which one is larger? Either the perimeter A plus the perimeter B or just the perimeter C? So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is our very first step. Let's focus on this square A. And I'm going to call each side of this square as a lowercase a. Since this is a square, each and every side is going to be a. And let's focus on now this square b. I'm going to call each side lowercase b since this is a square. So each side is going to be lowercase b. And now let's focus on this square c. Let me call this side lowercase c and since this is square so each and every side is going to be lowercase c. Now let's focus on this square a once again and we are interested in the perimeter of this a and we know that the perimeter is just simply the sum of its side lengths all the boundaries. So let me go ahead and just add those one the side lengths a plus a since all sides are a so that is going to give us simply four times a and likewise the perimeter of this square b is going to be all b's b plus b four times so that is going to give us the perimeter is going to be 4b now let's go ahead and add these perimeter A plus the perimeter of B. So that is going to give us this 4A plus this 4B. And let me go ahead and call this equation 1. And now let's focus on this big square C and we are interested in the perimeter C. So its perimeter is going to be simply the sum of all these side lengths. C, we're going to add them four times. So this turns out to be four times C. Now let's go ahead and observe one thing. This side length of this square A is lowercase a and this side length is b so this total length we know that is c so that means c equals to a plus b so here in this equation i'm going to replace c by a plus b let's distribute this thing so that is going to give us 4a plus for b let me go ahead and call this equation 2 now let's go ahead and compare equations 1 and 2 and we can see that the right hand side is same so therefore we conclude that the perimeter a plus the perimeter b is equal to the perimeter c so that means they are equal just keep in your mind thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye